Antarctica is absolutely enormous. It contains enough water to potentially raise global sea levels by up to 60 metres. Antarctica is changing now, partly because the sea ice is an all-time record low and is staying low now. We are witnessing now the effects of man-made global warming. We know about the Antarctic, it holds a huge reservoir of frozen fresh water. If that melts, it will rise global sea level. We could actually see many metres of sea level rise from Antarctica over the next few centuries, and that would fundamentally change our map of the world, and it would have a potentially devastating effect on the billion or so people who live close to the current sea level. SURFIT is quite a large programme. It's funded by NERC and run out of the British Antarctic Survey. SURFIT is focused on the surface fluxes of Antarctica, by which we mean how much snow and how much radiation or sunshine, if you like, goes into Antarctica, and then what result comes out from Antarctica, particularly how much ice enters the global ocean and affects sea level. The role of the atmosphere on the surface warming is poorly understood, so the global models do a really poor job in predicting sea ice, ocean surface temperature, surfeit, brings the opportunity to look at the coupled system of clouds, the air, the aerosols, the snow and the ice and ocean all together. And that will allow us by the end of SURFIT to build a better model to predict climate. SURFIT brings in lots of international expertise from all over the world. I like to combine the observation and the modeling and the try to make people in different fields talk to each other so we can better understand these processes. There are areas in West Antarctica where the ice has been lost five times quicker than it was in the 1990s. This is a sign that we really have to act, carry out observations, do the analysis to build a better model and to guide politicians and society.